beautiful, beautiful music of Disco Elysium. I should probably say uh, at the start of this, just kind of right off the bat, I I don't know much about this game. I don't know. Uh, I mean, what I've read about it, you know, seems like a, a Planescape Tormenty kind of game, which is my style. I don't know if it's going to be suitable for. Um, full playthrough, so uh, I don't know, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Let me know, please, if my voice is the proper volume um, relative to the game. And also, some there's a couple of new things I'm doing here. I've never, uh, I'm actually casting a game that I'm playing on the same machine that is doing the casting. So, um, I don't know what kind of problems that might cause. Might not cause any problems. But hopefully we all can meander through this uh, existentialist experience that uh, I've been told this game is, um, but, oh, yeah, hi, everybody, hope you all are doing well, this is kind of a stealth stream, don't know what's going to happen with it, but let's, let's jump right into it, and, all right. Now I'm little, and game is big. Okay. Let's turn the system audio up a little bit, see. Yeah, there's very little lighting in the room where I'm playing, and I have this this little fella here kind of giving a green cast, uh, which I might have just ruined the delicate placement of. I don't know. Um, well, obviously, um. Physical, yes, obviously I'm the physical type, right? So because there's so many unknowns, like going to this, like the way that I'm even playing this game is kind of different and unknown for me. Uh, so please feel free to yell out if something weird is going on, like you're seeing the edge of a window or, you know, it's not my voice is too loud, or my voice is not loud enough, or the game audio is too loud or not loud enough, etc. Um, I'm going to go with Thinker just to start. And and you know, the Furies are at home in the mirror, it is their address, even in the clearest water. If deep enough can drown. By the way, this video brought to y'all by Ridge.com. Don't forget to uh, use the code for sale for 10% off this thing here. Um, yeah, you can see a little jiggling as I move my my screen around. But. Hi, Sweet Pea. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Nasha. Samantha, Emmy. There is nothing 
Only warm primordial Real blackness. Your, Your conscience, conscience and conscience. it. No larger than a single grain of malt. Malt, not you don't salt. Have to do anything malt. Anymore. Malt is much smaller than salt. Mm. Ever. Mm. Sounds good. Never, ever. Mm. Daddy, you're gonna be lurking. Mm. Non-existent. An audience, no matter time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Oh, give me some more of that. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon Hey, Q. Nothing. Hi, Ramona. How are you all doing? Give me some more of that sweet Coming oblivion. Up, Smooth passy. Allons-y. It's a Poirot thing, isn't it? This reminds me of um, the Infocom version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And there's a section of that game which is all, it's a text adventure, um, where you basically, you can't, it, it gives you like this sort of, Oh, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything, you can't feel anything, you can't smell anything. Um, hey, Kelsey, how are you doing? You're essentially existing in a state like this. But there's one sense that it leaves out each time, and you have to, like, figure out which one. I like pain and burning light. And wanting things from people who don't want to give them. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Nothing town to fuck Alborough. Oh man, fuck Alborough. Love that place. Hi, Kelsey. Matt. Good to see you. Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Oh. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meter realm. Oh, that's you. awesome, Q. A I hope it's awesome. Uh, this was not planned for me either. Man meat, huh? Man meat. Got like it. Fly to the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. Mm. It wants to walk the desert. Hello, Taylor. Hurting, longing. Jackie boy. Dancing. To disco music. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. Hmm. I kind of like that. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Hmm. Oh, Michael Sarah, have not seen you in a bit. Um, yeah, I hope you are doing. Yeah, Q, please do. What sort of creature does this to A their own mouth? Straight penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. It's a very cold Oh no. The limbic system has come into existence. A Cooper's Kinema motor carriage. This is loud. Turn this down a little bit. Hmm. 
good luck with Last of Us 2, Manny. Well. What have we here? This is, this is what my back looks like. Put on your pants. Hi, Dave Norton. I know you. It already downgraded my stream quality. My goodness. Come on, if I double click, I don't run. Ooh, let's fish out them keys. Whirling in rags. Number one. Hmm. So I have a keychain from a place frequented by dock workers. Yes, this is my first playthrough. I played about two minutes of it uh, just to make sure that it was showing up okay. They should have sent a poet. Oh, look, a contact reference. Hmm. Get me some, some nice towel going on there. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. I wonder who could have done that. Was this not the same Elal that founds empires and lays waste to cities, virile and caring towards the little things? Oh, I love this. This sort of uh, pastiche face uh, representing... I'm assuming representing the different sort of conflicting facets of this person's subconscious, maybe schizophrenic, I don't know yet. A vague impression of a man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, even the world you're in is drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking, it was a deluge of world ending proportions. All right, let's see. No, let's just see it. Oh dear. Looks like a medieval bard. Spent too much time drinking. Well, I'll tell you one weird thing is the portrait here doesn't really match this that well. The larger image. Um, hmm. Oh, look. Look who dropped by. Crankle. How are you doing? Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. Rigor mortis on your face. <laughs> the face is making itself. I might keep making the face. Oh, warn that grin in your face, it won't come off. Much like, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do that, you know, much like this thing. Uh, I can't get rid of it. 
my ex-wife asks me to uh, if she can Botox it um, wait what what is this uh, I did this as a joke this uh Horrible, horrible color and font. Gotta, I've gotta get it out of there. It's embarrassing. Crinkle oven comes by and my pop ups look like. Mm, oh, everything looks horrible now. Oh dear. Um, I might go with this in like a a nice a nice periwinkle. Found a top ten horror ASMR list, and you were listed as a female artist. I would love to see that. I don't mind being listed as a female artist. It's fine by me. Um, oh, and I'm trying to click, trying to click the. Uh, what emotion is that person trying to convey? Indescribable, misspelled, uh, I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. It's definitely pain. You are correct. <laughs> Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Attempt. Okay. So is this gonna, I get to do this? Oh, I rolled a success. Success. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Hey, uh, how are you doing, uh? Oh my god. I'm the number one female horror ASM artist? I don't know that I... Didn't Horror, really, but I'm, I'll take it. It should be yours, but I'll, I'll take it. Mm -mm, adventure seeker. Mm -hmm. Well, you came here for adventure, right? Um. Things were good. It was all right. <clears throat> I gotta start doing my voices, eh? Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times. Calling this the new style. It's the new style. Oh man, the DJ who did I like to move it died. Um, pep pep. Cinco toys. Yes, got some. Serious Eric, Tim and Eric. Yeah. I wasn't really a huge fan of the thing they just did. Uh, Beef Boys or whatever. France, hello Matt. You have Made in France ASMR and Beyond the Moons. 
disco happens. Okay. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Le Mignon. Guillaume Le Mignon. Okay. Revachol sounds like, um, like a hair, a hair growing supplement. I do like this guy's hair in the portrait. I'm not as much of a fan of it in the, um, in the mirror, but this is the way things are, right? I look better in the portrait. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Oh my God, hi back. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, Tides. Let's see. How are you doing, Aquamarine? Good to see you. Um. Oh, I gotta get moving here. Fuchsia. Oh, bummer. Hello, Dark Lord Flaglo, and goodbye. Dark Lord Flaglo. I don't think this is your kind of game anyway, Dark Lord Flaglo. I think you need like a good a good pinball game. Be more up your alley. A nice game of pinball. Bumping. Oh, it's it's Vit F fuck. Vitney. Vit Vitali. Oh, oh damn it. Hello, person whose birthday is a couple days before mine, um, and whose name is Russian and begins with a V, and I can never remember it. I'm sorry. No, I know you, I'm sure you would love Disco Elysium, Flaylo. Um, I was playfully insulting you. All right. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Guillaume Le Mignon. Guillaume. Guillaume. Guillaume Le Mignon. Guillaume. Uh, thank you for your awesome streams as well. Do you stream? I don't. I, I, you got to. I need to know about that. I, I don't think I've seen one of your live streams, Crinkle, Crinkly. Oh, bye, Sweet Pea. You're cute too. And I'm sorry, Flaglo. I didn't mean to mess with you when you're so tired. Um, okay. Oot of the dazzling swirl of disco music in open air Bois de Nou, somewhere in Revachol, West, Guillaume. Is that Guillaume or Guillaume? I don't know. I'm going to say Guillaume. Blonde Maine appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression Guillaume Le Mion. Okay, got it. Perfect. Guillaume Le Mion. Thank you very much, Daddy. I appreciate that. Guillaume Le Mion. Oh, I, uh, that's what I would love to see some chaos. Um, I'm not getting anywhere in this game. This is what happens with every time a stream. So, <laughs> that's funny. Breaking the fourth wall already. Breaking the fourth wall. Um, <laughs> like this would probably be what I'd really do. Just conclude. But let's, let's dig into a little bit. You do have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact... 
Yes, I knew that already. Okay. Why would I adopt the expression? Because people loved it. I needed a little bit of that stardust to rub off on me. But all that remains is the grimace. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Guillaume Hamillon. Let's, let's, I want to see what it looks like to fail a roll. What? Is that, I wonder if that's scripted. Because, um, 3% and success, I don't know, kind of seems like that might have been scripted. It's like something snaps in you, a nerve ending, a thought, a sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the leer that had distorted it for God knows how long. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> that would be, that would be cool too. <laughs> I will, I will try very hard to make it, you're on the... West Coast, so, um, yeah, whatever, I will make it. Oh, so I'm not supposed to see, see what happens, magic things happen uh, when I'm, Disco Inferno is not a dumb joke, Nasha. Oh, but Ramona, you doubled down on Nasha's joke, and I don't know. All right, I'll let the mirror be. Well, I know that, that the dice are generally honest, but I, you know, sometimes games in the beginning will maybe have a couple of scripted things going on. I like the shining wallpaper here. Although I do feel that's a, at this point, like everybody references that, right? Oh shit, disco ass blazer. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. Yeah, it has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back. Huh. I got a plus one esprit de corps. I wonder if those are reflectors or... So tools, clothes, items, okay. Just checking here, okay. I assume I gotta... Let's assess the damage. Look, I cannot lose. Hmm, well, what broke the window? A projectile from then a held object. Hmm. Would you really see fragments when you pull the tool back? What's the size of the impact? Larger than your fist. I mean, it looks like a ball, right? That's love. No, I wanna. Uh, this look. This takes me forever. It takes me a long time. I wanna. I wanna get that. Um. I c I can tell this story real quick. I've told it before. Uh, but I shall tell it. Uh, again, um, so in the Dream Team video, um, at the at the end of it, uh, there's like a little. I think uh, is it in the actual video or is it in the behind the scenes? I don't remember. But there's a sec section where it's showing uh, Paul and I. 
um, in a what looks like a very old abandoned operating room uh, and that is in fact what it is it it's, is in fact where we were um, the Philadelphia State Penitentiary it's one of the first panopticon penitentiaries that was ever built um, but if you look it up now they do like haunted houses there every year Al Capone was there for a while um, but they will rent parts of it out like typically for TV shows or commercials or you know I don't know uh, youtubers increasingly I'm sure and we rented part of it out for like six hours but what they didn't tell us uh, and we didn't find out until we got there on the night was that they would have to have chaperones with us the entire time um, they also didn't tell us like the area where we were going uh, was a considerable distance from the car so we had like a lot of equipment uh, or a fair amount of equipment I, that's my fault really um, but so it took us like an hour to set up and then we were just really uncomfortable because there was like a a 20 something two 20 something um, females who worked there uh, and we felt so uncomfortable that we couldn't get anything finished we just got like some snippets and the plan was one day to go back but that's uh, not going to happen now for better or worse I'm sorry that it's this stream is a uh, Let's see if I can take off high quality, maybe. Make it. Yeah, take off high quality. That's all I can do. Um, unfortunately, I, I, I gotta contact my, my uh, cable provider again because my pizza it sucks. My shit sucks. And it shouldn't. Okay. So that was that story. Oh, look at this. Am I inside a bunker? Is that because of the buffering? Like, is it particularly bad, huh? That sucks, man. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one shoe. Looks like I'm wearing two shoes. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be just outside your room. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. All right, maybe we can leave the room at some point. Yes, it's a, I'm purposely buffering. It's, it's, it's fourth wall stuff, guys. The buffering is, uh, it's not actually buffering. I'm making it seem like it's buffering and there's gonna be a big, big payoff later. Oh, look at that. You just saw, just saw behind the, oh, oh. And it's kind of cutting off a little bit. This isn't the ideal way to do a game playthrough. It'd be better if I got this on like uh, the PlayStation art. Oh, let me get that. I got to get that thing off there. All right, let's try it. See if we can grab the tie. Look at this. I cannot 
lose. I can't lose. Swoop up, catch the tie, snap, released from the blade. I've often had uh, articles of clothing on ceiling fans. Um, which story? Don't tell me like the lag is so bad that y'all are still hearing the the prison story. Oh no. Oh, this buffering sucks. Let's see what I can do. Can I fix it? Hmm. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can do something about this. All right, I got, I got a Coke and two pieces of Havarti cheese. That should help the stream. been like rolling I've been getting really good rolls I'm on a roll hi Morgan hi Lisa I have to tell the story again man I'm hating this too can I Let's see. <laughs> I see that. Like, actually, the I, obviously, the color needs to be like teal, right? Like that's just like a given. And then. Probably sounds disgusting. Um, well, I'll try and, uh, I'll give it a, a TLDR. The scene that you see at the end of that Dream Team video uh, it's not green screened or anything. It actually is an old operating room 
from, hopefully this doesn't, it's an old uh, operating room that is at the Philadelphia State Penitentiary. And you can rent sections of that. It's one of the first Panopticon prisons. Um, hi, SJ Lemon. Chili, wow. Uh, anyway, so uh, we rented a section of the You can DM me. Don't DM me on uh, Twitter. I'm still banned there, unfortunately. Um, so we rented this section of the Philadelphia State Penitentiary. They gave us a tour. And we got to kind of pick... what area we wanted. So we did, we found an operating room, like with one of those big, you know, movable OR lights. It was the original light. Where they did, who knows? I mean, this was not like, I mean, maybe there was like some MK ultra level, you know, the kind of shit they do on prisoners. Um, So we rented it for six hours from like 10 till three in the morning or something like that. But they didn't tell us like where we'd be able to park. Like there was a parking lot right outside the area. And they also didn't tell us that they would have to have chaperones with us. So we ended up having to park a long way away. Wow, that's some serious lag if I'm just getting back. Like if I'm just seeing this. Serious lag. Bummer, man. Sucks. <clears throat> um. Wait a minute, I saw people talking about the cheese minutes ago. I don't know what's going on. Guys. So, we had a couple of um, 20 something year old employees chaperoning us. It took an hour to get the equipment set up. Because, excuse me, there wasn't any like decent lighting. And uh, we basically weren't able to get something recorded. Properly recorded, anyway. <clears throat> so we thought we'd go back, uh, but that's you know, not going to happen now. Um, but you know, you live and learn. I hope you all catch up because I am way ahead of the chat right now. Okay, I don't think I need anything else from this here thingamaboober. I'm gonna leave. What else is left? That door and this. Actually, well, I know I have the key to this door, right? Oh, all of a sudden I'm walking a little Hello. much faster. Wow, that was. Serious deadpan delivery there. Hello, officer. Did 
The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her, <clears throat> my perception tells me her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer. Officer. Am I a military personnel? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? <clears throat> officer could be an artistic statement, a claim to official renown. Ooh. No, you're a police officer, sir? This looks like a wig she's wearing. Yeah, if I found out that I was secretly... Um, a police officer... I'm not. I might unless jump you've out been shitting us the window. All this time. Maybe I have been shitting you all this time. By the way, all this time, what? Yeah, I was a bad boy on Twitter. I mean, I was a bad boy on Twitter insofar as, like I just said something shitty about Trump. Who doesn't do that though, right? All right. So all this time I've been, been here, here for a while. Days on official three days. So uh, I actually like this voice acting, but it's so dry. It probably sounds as dry as my voice. Like it's just right I up in the mic. Say. In truth, so far mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Ooh, let's do a... Well, no, I don't want to ruin my um, streak. And that seems like I probably won't get that. Hmm... And I don't want her physically, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? <laughs> don't let, don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, live is, look at this, so, like I just said this a minute ago, so, Chad is catching up, hooray, Nasha, hooray. Looks like, oh no, y'all are seeing a little bit of the, but now you don't see the, hmm. How can I get that little bit of window to disappear? This is so unprofessional. Oh my goodness. So unprofessional. Oh well. I'm gonna assume that you all would rather actually see more of the game and not be offended by this little bit of window peeking through. Okay. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired, her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Thank you for fixing it, Nasha. Why 
Why don't I remember anything? Oh, I already asked this. Why don't I remember anything? Oh, I already asked this. Why don't I remember anything? <laughs> Look, I might not know where I am or who I am or what a Cooper's Kinema is, how I know what one sounds like, but I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? She takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged, correct? Uh, use of the word. The body's been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. So why didn't you just tell me that? Didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. Yeah. Ain't that the truth, right? That's certainly seems accurate to me. Mm. Lost. Can we kick this back somehow to notch it, notch it back so you're not seeing that darn? All right, I'm gonna do that because who cares about like seeing the edge of the portrait? All right, I'm out of here. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Yeah, well, the police don't like around here, around there. Oh, my. Oh, he's pulling a Columbo. Uh, or just one last thing before you go. Just one last question, if I might. Mia Wallace vibes, yeah. Yep. Doing, giving a foot massage, can I? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Tell me what year it is. The current century. Oh. <laughs> there is nothing funny about civilization. I don't, why would I ask this question? Like, why would any police officer be like, what do they have against the police here? I think it would be pretty obvious. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I already knew this. Ah. Uh, I like this. I like that they assign a gender to the city. Forever and ever. And ever and ever. Out of the corner of your eye, you see the hair on the back of your hand standing on end. It feels as though low-grade lightning is coursing through you. You must be hypersensitive from the hangover. All right. Glad to have been of assistance. All right, bye. Let's get DNA off the... Yeah. Can I not take it? Here we go. March 51. <laughs> Oh, I got some money. I got some money. Let's get my shoe. 
Red checks can be tried only once. Failed white checks can be retried when you increase the relevant skill. Okay. Oh, got bright. And loud all of a sudden. What's this? I don't need that. All kinds of weirdness. Is that my shoe? My shoe! Green snakeskin shoes. Oh, I like that. Copiously green, indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet like two baby crocodiles. Wait a second, these don't look like cop shoes. I am not. Healed morale plus zero. All right. Can I just jump down there? Nope. Whirling in rags. Or I guess when he was talking about the key ring, I assumed it was the key ring. His key ring, not the hotel hostel's key ring. Trump Le Monde. Change it a little tiny bit. You have uh, I forget it. I'm not even gonna. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dig it. Can I? Can I sing a little song? This is where the lyrics would be. It's prosaic. I like that. The music is seasoned with static. Gart, the cafeteria manager. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabed. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Hey, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, Zamimski. Hey. How are you doing, Zamimski? It's a touchy subject. Well, you look like that a bartender. My life is over. Not everyone who stands behind the counter is a bartender. Well, do you tend bar? Yeah, what's the ding ding difference? Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Okay. Sorry. She just, you know. Nope. So now you're a cop? Forget it. Well, oh. mm -hmm. thanks. You shouldn't be able to now. bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. 
The seabird is a symbol for the discovery of the Insolidian Isola, the part of the world you're in right now. Hmm. Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the door. He's where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping well, his foot on the floor. Now look here, I'm a cop and I talk to whoever I please. Should I ask him if he's a bartender again? Probably not, right? Guillaume Emillon. Internalize who I am. Did that do anything for me? I don't know. I'm in Joyzy. This is Bayonne. I'm in Bayonne. I'm at Mass's Tavern. So we know it's Monday. A large bubble is rising to the surface. What is this? Nose of head. Hmm. Sounds slightly dangerous. Probably tasty. Union paraphernalia. Hello, sweetie. Cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Everybody wants me to talk to this dude in the bomber jacket. I'm taking me time. Fine. But not because people told me to. Only because I want to. Kim Kutsuragi, a bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket, is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. And that's someone. And look at that, you totally can still see. This is, what a, here, let's zoom all the way out here. You can see my, so bizarre. All right, let's hope that Stays like that. What's up, dude? He extends his hand. We don't do that anymore. Oh, he's got the same white rectangles. I don't think I'm going to shake his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Let's make up a name for ourselves. I'm, I've not rolled without winning yet. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it. But there are still many to go. So my name must be like Spencer. Right? Something like that. No, nobody. Look, nobody. I don't need people to donate. I do appreciate it, but I don't need it. This is just uh, a group of friends hanging out. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, sorry. Like this is really, oh my God, this is so vain of me. But I like the, 
right about hmm. Hmm. Let's see me if I turn this up. I get a little more green going on in my face, but now it's just in my neck. Here, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rest it on the this ridge wallet. Ridge wallets. If you want a ridge wallet, go to a uh, ridge com and use the code for sale for 10% off. Um, and you can rest your lights on them so that they point more. That's not enough. This is riveting, I know. I'm riveting for everybody involved. Oh, see, that's what I want that. Let's crank this intensity. I should have figured this out before the stream. All right, we're going to live with that. Okay, let's go back. Just call me officer, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget Squarespace. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? I talked to the bartender. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Oh, Ask him God. for a rundown of the area. Not that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is all back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. Oh, the hanged person. Have you mapped out the initial interview? Yes, yes, please. Right. I am a the policeman. Interview. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I should probably be honest with this with this chap seems like a nice okay nice we'll person for that after we take a look at the coroner's case have you removed the dead body from the tree <laughs> i like this look man you know yeah is no longer in the tree um no so the body is still in the tree yeah, I mean, it's, it's still in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh, okay, let's, let's do this. All right, great. Great. Just what I want, tasks. Yeah, I should have a badge. I am a policeman, and I have my badge. Oh, great. Yay! I'm no longer a party of one. Now this guy is going to back me up when I talk to this bartender. Mr. Gao, right? Yeah. You run this place. Yes. 
I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. <laughs> what? I have no idea what that I is. I am the gloaming. What is this? A joke to you? Is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? He's been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It Good night, Morgan. The code, correct? Thank you for dropping by. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works at the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> you said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Local? What? Is Martin A? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on this place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I know. Yeah, well, I think he said three. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need direction. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again. Yeah, That's we get it, we get it. You're awesome. I didn't imply that. Detective? Oh. I got some questions. This uh, bartender, I can. Why did Sylvie go away? Oh, look at that! Mm. And because I asked for her number, you see. That's what the, uh, that's what drinking the smart water, water, water will do, and using the, uh, I'm not even gonna say it. That's it, mystery solved. This stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. That's right. There's one thing I know about myself. It's that I'm a total raging feminist with an inexplicable feminist agenda. Oh, you have like a mind palace, but it's a thought cabinet. So mine palace would be too grandiose for somebody who looks like I do. Where's the body? How do we get there? See the door. Oh, didn't know that. Hmm. Can we just ask? Can we just ask who killed? Who killed him? It's always a good question. Well, okay. But if you knew, then this would be like a really short investigation. Oh, look at this. This is the old 
slip up where you say, I didn't tell you my name. I didn't tell you their name. I didn't say it was a she. I didn't say it was a he. I like this. Bunch of Marylanders in the house. What's love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. That'll work. Oh no. Is the audio, I mean the audio should be mono. Are you talking about the system audio? Like the uh, game audio or my voice? My voice should be centered. The game audio is probably, yeah, stereo pins. There's only one mic going on here. What did you mean by they? Oh, union dock workers. Let me get a thingy here. I'm extending my hand to do all this mousing stuff. Yeah, who? Uh, the game to me sounds like right now it's mostly coming from my left. But I think that's just where I'm standing. Why would dock workers lynch this man? Oh dear. He made air quotes. The man I hanged was a security guard for the whole company I hear. A mercenary. The Unionistas probably thought they'd send a message. I have a, another question. My question is, that's all. Hmm. Not so far as Mr. Feminist, you owe me. 130 real. I want to say I don't know you shit. Good night, Maddie. Thank you for dropping by. Okay, Let's see if I get this roll. Oh, my savoir faire. Oh. That's my first roll that I haven't made. <clears throat> One moment you're running like the wind, then you're suddenly turned around and giving him the finger furiously with both hands. Why? <sighs> let's let's commit. Uh oh. Everything goes dark. Back so soon. Oh, that was hey, so Mickey, worth it. You just missed the quarter light. The darkness on the edge of town. Speaking of New Jersey. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt 
I didn't think I could do the beard. The art complex is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Oh boy. I'm, I'm not very okay. Oh, of course, everyone's concerned about the lady in the wheelchair. Oh, is this true? Is this Indigo? Is this your ASMR channel, Situational Audios? Very cool. Everybody check it out. Um, why is he reacting that way? That's a little weird. Cool. Great. This is not a line of thought I'm going to continue. All right. Let's go look at a dead body. You guys want to go see a dead body? Oh my gosh. Look at all of this stuff. don't have what it takes yet. Why is it talking about THC here? Do I even have a home? Oh yeah, definitely. Marble Hill. Let's ask my buddy. Oh. Hobo cop. All right, so how do I get to this body? My soul is definitely immense. Yes. I could be a superstar. Hi, Jenna E. Only Faith. That'd be great. Bellathorn ruined that too. What should I sing when it comes down to it? Oh man. Somebody got a super sticker. A Levy Oracle. Pair character punching the air with fist and bump written on his knuckles. Hmm. Cool. Thank you very much. That was very kind.
All right. So I've been hearing a lot from these, obviously, I guess, because that's where I put my initial points and a bit of perception, yeah. Obviously my motor X, oh, my hand-eye coordination is good. I wonder why, I wonder why that was a problem. Anyway. Yeah, a church song. Nobody laughs when you're seeing something so sad. Gonna have to find another one. I'm actually not clear. What is this? So I can't get, I can't go through here. this way there's definitely definitely more my cop sense is tingling But there's somebody hanging in the tree, of course. Oh uh, yeah, don't be inhaling salts all the time. A grain of malt. Let's take those gloves. No visible annoyance. A significant detail. Well. I want to... I want to get to the body. side of the cafe. Thank you, Samantha. Scott? Call me tomorrow. Uh, right to work. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. Let us cop. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here to the wild north? Come to see the strife? Oh boy. See if we can grab it. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I bet. That's what I do. Point oh one. All right, I want to. I want to get to the body here. Not so interested in the strike yet. Don't care about the magazines. I think, like, I definitely have to be in the right frame of mind 
to stream this game, right? But I am liking it. Let's reconstruct that movement. Oh my god, it's getting me back. No, my account, it's a 90s thing. Ninety-three, ninety-four. Um, as far as the zooming goes, if I zoom out anymore, for some reason the um, the proportions are a bit odd. So if I zoom out, what happens is y'all see my window, which all right, fine, that's fine. I'll do that. Cap habit. All right. I am double clicking. All right, finally. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. Oh yeah, that's right. This is really good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you have seen it, check it out again. The Hanged Man. Oh, like a little kid peeking over the fence there. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human, swollen, ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. He seemed to be holding your breath. Hmm. Oh, really? I'll put on... Thank you for that. I will have caps lock on. Aiden Carmichael, thank you. I'm not going to turn away yet. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle of the body below. It appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rod. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Now I'm playing on a Mac. Um... Let's try it. You know what? Like if you if you gotta throw up, you gotta throw up. Any emetophobics here? I apologize. Stings from the stomach acid. I actually threw up a little a couple days ago. Um, and I haven't thrown up in the longest time. Uh, and it was something that I ate. And it was horrible. Commodore Red, the empty bottle of which is in your... I'm going to blame, blame the corpse, of course. I don't need your pity, Ken, Kim. Uh, okay. I don't need anything. All right. Okay. Enjoy. Act 
Active decay. The lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. No, it was neither Nando's nor the flapjack pancake cups. I think it was some something that milk that had gone sour. What do you mean, about to blow? I already did. Yeah, Ardra is fine. He's in the next room. Can we talk to this dude? Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Oh. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. Who's... Who? What's going on there? Fuck, are you trying to pull, pig? Why, why do they sound like they're in like a... Aluminum shed. Child. Child. Converse with me. Murder was the case. Was the case they gave me. Oh, look at that. Murder was the case. All right. It's in here. The body is downwind of the trash container. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. The manager. He is throwing rocks at the dead body. Exquisite in his oh, ugliness. Yeah. Goofy, Kuno. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Slob it in the dick. Oh dear. Yes, this is the first time that I've touched this game. Fuck that f Kuno! Yeah, right in the mouth hole! Hmm. This shit himself! The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. Wow. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Hello and goodbye, a new 742 Sweet Pea streamer mode. You're talking about the way it's um, bleeping certain words. I'm not doing anything. That's just naturally the way it is. Okay, Emmy. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Take care. Hmm. Irregular speech patterns, overconfidence. Could this kid be on drugs? This warrants further investigation. This warrants further investigation into this? That's 
the old Department of Redundancy Department right there. Oh dear. These kids, I don't, I don't think, I've, I've just got a feeling they're not going to be very helpful. Looking for some truffles. Why oh, they're sure casually tossing around these homophobic slurs. Kuno wasn't regional. Yeah. Night City, huh? There's no Night City. I have not been in Kuno's head. That's right. You're building a city. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Huh. I have a sense telling me that. Oh, he's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Okay. All right. Who is Kuno? It's always Kuno, never I. Using third person perspective as a shield. Hooked on the book. Oh boy. Touching the Kuno. Escalate. Oh boy. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Hmm. do it. <laughs> what do you think of that, Kuno? I just punched a 12-year-old. I didn't know he was 12. I'll do what I want, Kim. Yeah, I got this on Steam. Hmm. There's a lot of reading going on here. I don't know how interesting this is from a streaming point of view. He's still not. Oh. Magic tree house. Uh, 
Ah, the gardener. Kipt is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Simonese or Areopagite descent. Used to be a common first name among the Areopagites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. How do I keep doing that thing with my mouth? I don't know what thing you're talking about. Gardner used to work there. Oh. Kuno don't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Good night, daddy. Yeah, clearly. Who gardens in March? Yes, I am going to talk to her about that. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. All right. I think I'm done with this kid. Kuno, may God be with you. Doing someone a liquid? Oh boy. Don't think I want to know. It's all about context. Oh, got some magnesium. Doing it? Oh, yeah. Man. Wow. Oh, look, Kim wants to investigate. I do too. Short on money, equip a plastic bag, collect bottles. I don't know. I don't know about that. It's not my style. Amphetamine. <laughs> I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are, are you a really good detective? <laughs> Subtle. Um, no, he's just a regular detective. Oh, okay, well... You know, I wasn't thinking about taking it, but, um, you know. Uh, this playthrough, assuming I continue it, will be in its own playlist, just like The Last of Us, but unlisted. So you just would go to the Disco Elysium playlist, and they'll all be in there. Oh, thank you, Moroku. I appreciate that. And, you know, I, I'm trying to think of the last outstanding adventure game I played. It's been a while. It's been a while. Chesticer. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. 
but maybe it is. But also, maybe it isn't. I sound tired. Thank you, sweet pea. I am tired. But I'm also trying to just be really sort of laid back on this stream. Just kind of chill. Why am I... Oh, damn it. Nummy. I actually didn't even realize that was the door. Thank you for the uh, catching people up, Hayden Carmichael. It is appreciated. I'm having a little trouble with the 3D. So obviously I'm going to die if I miss this, which means I shouldn't do it. Doing it, oh, does not look good. Holy wow, that's high. You'd have to be a total madman to jump. This is certain death. Morale is critical. Heal yourself now. Okay. Whoa, what? Hello. Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step from t step up from total annihilation, right? And total annihilation, that was a good game. I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Just let corpses hang on trees. I'm quitting. Fuck you. Kim is just watching stoically. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by, shouting, I never loved that woman. Oh, where was my last save? No way. No way. No way, this is like some old school auto saving. Oh no, okay. Whew. Do I gotta find this door again? That might have been enough to put me off the game completely. That's all right. 
pretty sure there was some stuff in here I missed. Yeah, gotta do the... No. Please shouldn't interfere. No. Ladder in the corner. Okay. And we're back. Yeah, thank you all. Yeah. I will be manually saving more from here on out. Oopsie daisy. Oh, thank you. That makes it easy. Oh, we definitely do that, my account. Thank you for for dropping by. Getting a little tired myself, so I'm probably gonna wrap up soon. So can't get this, huh? This is just a no. Not happening. Oh, wait, what's that? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Damn it. All right, can I just stop? Jackie boy. Let's say screw that. Let's uh Talk a little. I don't know. I have to wake up at six AM tomorrow. This is Liberty Weekend. I don't, you know, uh, generally care that much about my how well I sleep tonight. Um, although I do want to get some sleep. Alan, I am a thinker. Uh, sweet be you're too kind, but young? No, I'm uh, definitely not. Um, and 
anything that I'm able to get from the lighting, I'll, I'll gladly take. The green does some cool shadow stuff there. Actually, it makes it look like... Oh, I'm gonna put some uh, paint on some eyebrows like that for character somewhere. Uh, sorry. Let's get back to this. So we're saying F the jacket, right? F the jacket. See if there's any of this stuff I can get. I like the way Kim stands. Um, it's got a very confident air. Stuff that you can't access from where you are should probably not appear as green. You know? Like, where am I trying to go here? I'm having a little trouble with the sort of the depth perception from this art style. Like, everything looks sort of flat. So it's kind of hard to know exactly you know, where you can and can't go. So sweet pea, but I'm doing a video about that. That'll be like a separate, like more formal video. Um, thought I took that. Guess I didn't. You won't hear me complaining. Or you will hear me complain. It's like... Hey, these things like get restocked, I guess. Can I look at my vomit? Screw this guy. Screw everybody here. Going back around, talking to the gardener. Hello again, officer. How are things? I need some salts. An ampule of ammonia. Yes. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, what?
Yay. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, so the free stores. Freet store. Okay, that's about all I need right now. Gloves on. Now I have my ammonia, my ampule of ammonia. Not worried about this guy. Oh my god, that's what I it, that's what it does. It gives me just a plus 1. Man. Okay, just having it in your inventory is enough. I actually have a problem with my guitar. I think I showed you all. Um, let's go see if we can get into that tank. But one of the Let me in that garbage can. those keys. Please cooperate. Hello, Puma. How are you doing? Oh, and Lisa, I don't think I said hi to you yet either. All right, we got that key. And by the way, oh, he's not going to let me absolutely in the question we're gonna sing this place to shit your body's ready wow the pop culture references are running wild oh sweet pea of course good luck on the test and it's just a test. Why can't I go in the kitchen? Yeah, maybe I am. Oh boy. Oh, implying that I don't pay on time, I see. For a bartender, this guy's a real pain in the ass.
the men come. There's really nothing else I want to ask. About that money I owe. 60 real. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about something else. But we got the key. We got the key. And that is very exciting to me. Open the padlock with the key. Maybe you shouldn't. Time to shine, Hobo Cop. What? No, I'm opening it. Vatslav. See? That worked. Good night, Vatslav. It's good to see you. Got a search? Oh, milk. Oh. Good night. Courtesy. Of course, that's the. Definitely the point of, like, I think this game will be. There's sort of nighttime, very calm streams. Listen to ASMR. What town did you grow up in? You're used to, I'm used to, well, I'm not used to dumpster diving anymore. But I used to dumpster dive when I was younger. All right, someone's telling me to save, so. I'm gonna save here, seems like something's about to happen. Though I don't know how, I can't save at the moment. Denim trousers. Ah. Cadaverine odor is faint. We bagged him. Bag and tag it. Of course the belt is missing. Yeah, reach for the slimy thing. Dripping with pus. Okay. All right. Who put the clothes in the trash? Oh boy, there's a, there's a bit of back and forth here. I'm going back to Garth again. <sighs> yeah, it's true. They had the key. Still can't save my game here. Okay. Because I have a feeling... No, let me just... Save my game. Now, let's open that lid again. Sh 
shiny, a damaged ledger. Um, oh dear. I got a skill point. I got a skill point. I leveled up. <laughs> it has a foreboding quality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it for the great bloodletting to begin. I speak of the tongue, Kim. <laughs> I don't know, man. That does sound like an order. I ain't good with that. I see. Yes, you're what we call a badass, aren't you? More air quotes. I want to look... I want to go Hobocop style. Uh oh. I almost saw that stuff. Yeah, of course. And yet. Perhaps, let's take that mug. Hmm. All right. Okay. Man, Kuno. Such a darling. Oh, you can do stuff behind his back. I like that. Let's talk to this bartender again. Can I help you? Uh, here's your trash container key. Found the victim's clothes. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. else has the keys. Alright. Yeah, okay, that's right. I leveled up. So let's level up. Hmm. Thank you, Samantha. Yeah. Probably don't need that. Uh, can't just... Yay! Hi, Gigi. Nice to see you. To see you nice. Do I have to give back those gloves? Check out this mug. Look 
at all that content on that mug. The mug will be useful. By, ben by denouncing it, I can earn political capital to mask my badass hustling. What's up with my ledger? Toilet paper desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. The toilet paper is a metaphor for me. Hmm. kitchen tissue. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. It's cool. Oh, what's up, Kim? You know anything about this? Nice if it had my name. Great. Oh, him and his neatly kept notes. The jam rock quarter. Hmm. Two cases a week, and that seems good. Hi, Victoria. I've not seen you in a, in a while. That seems like a good number. Seems like a normal caseload. Yeah. Like a nice brisk pace. Oh, good night, Simimski. Look at what just happened there. That was interesting. Yeah, in fact, as we approach midnight, I'm going to put the ledger away for now. Close out my myriad inventory screens, etc. Save my game. And come back into focus for a little um, stream ending ASMR, which unfortunately cannot be in stereo. Ooh, just occurred to me, these are magnetic as is my 
microphone guard. No. It's not going to stick on the edge though, is it? No. Hmm. I thought I could decorate my pop screen. Oh, I can. I can't really do beard noises. Um, they don't work here, but I can decorate my microphone guard. I don't know if, if you're saying good scratches or or bad scratches. If you want bad scratches, that's why I got a pumice board. Inland Empire. Okay, yeah. Um, so far, I am definitely liking it. I mean, it's um, I really like the writing style and the art style and the premise so far. Um, I'm I guess I'm a little put off by the back and forth nature of like going to and from Gart, for instance. Like I, I'm never really a fan of like having to run across the same um, stretch over and over again. But I do like the game, so I am gonna keep it. Good night, listen to ASMR. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm gonna keep playing it. And we'll probably do, you know, like, th th to me this is a good game to do like late night, lo-fi, low key, I guess, more than lo-fi uh, streams too. So that's probably how I'm gonna do it. Let's see. If I watch what happens. There's an interesting phenomenon that happens with blue light and a lot of LUTs and digital cameras. And you'll see as this light turns to blue, it will actually be, look like there's less light than if there was no light at all. Watch this. I hope this works. I just set myself up for looking like an idiot. Ready? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. See that? Look at that. It makes me look like a, something really weird going on with my, with my skin, right? So that's the light off, and that's with the light on. So I guess, you know, the contrast with my skin. Just, uh... There, I could play like this. I could play Detroit, almost human, like this. Anyway, digital cameras and blue light uh, are, blue light is like a digital camera's worst enemy. Right? It's where all the noise lives and all like, strange things happen when you use blue light. Anyway, just thought, but you know, if you didn't know that the light does some weird stuff. Although I actually kind of like just that, you know. But I'm a. I mean, I always. Like, I'm a constant. Do blue and or, or teal and orange, in every one of my videos. So. Yeah, just doing some interesting stuff. I've talked about this light before. I do like it, quite a bit. Um. It's super hot though right now, which most LEDs do not get. 
anywhere near this hot. I've never experienced that. Um, let's change. But see now, watch this. I'm only going to change the hue. I'm not going to change the intensity at all. Ooh, I like what that does. That does like something weird to my eyes. Now I'm just being silly. Red is weird too. There, that's, that's the way you want it so you can kind of hide all the weird page lines and stuff. All right. Let's get it back to the teal. You can see I have some light diffusion going on in this lens, so it does like some uh, diffusion on the point lights. Okay. And with that, I think I'm going to, let's turn down that volume. Gonna call it a night and we'll be back soon and uh, can't wait to to play more of this game and you know I, I could be playing multiple games at once really that's possible um, based on mood right like this is a totally different vibe than the last of us obviously like not just the story and stuff but the the, the how kind of chilled out it is. All right. Good night, everybody. See you all later.